So I'm just going to outline um, seven techniques that I use throughout the course of the year that I rely on. They're staple techniques. Um, I catch them everywhere I go on it. And there's just like small little modifications that I'll do uh, to maybe the particular bait or, or how I work the bait, the presentation. Um, and I'm just going to get ahead and I'm going to go through them. So the first one, I mean, pretty much um, a lot of you guys are familiar with the Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, this is a phenomenal jerk bait. Um, it's probably one of the better ones on the market. I mean, unfortunately, it is expensive, and I mean, I got a box full of broken jerk baits, Mega Basses that have their bills broken off, and I mean, it's just a shame just because they are $25 a piece. Um, but when you're trying to find um, a really good jerk bait, this Mega Bass is definitely the one that I would go to. Um, and it doesn't matter how expensive uh, a bait is, out of the package, I very, very rarely use stock treble hooks. Um, so the first thing I'll do, you see the, the picture in the bottom corner, um, I swap out my treble hooks on this Mega Bass Jerk Bait to size number six EWG Gamagatsus. Um, you're going to see a little picture there um, of a red treble hook. I am a firm, firm believer of putting one red treble hook on your jerk bait. Um, especially, you want to either put it on the front hook um, or the middle hook. And basically what that does is it allows that bass to really key in onto the front of your bait. And a lot of times, you know, especially smallmouth, fish a lot of smallmouth up here in the northeast, you have a lot of them track it, they'll follow it right up to the, right up to the boat, right behind the bait, and all of a sudden they'll swim under your boat and you'll be like, you know, what the heck, you know, how come he didn't commit to that bait? A lot of times putting that little red treble hook on there will be that extra little entice, you know, for that fish to actually commit to it. Um, so that's one thing I do. Another thing, um, especially these suspend dots. You know, a lot of times we're trying to get these jerk baits down deeper, um, but you're still trying to work them slow. So putting suspend dots is going to get a Vision 110, which this is right here, 110 plus one. It's going to get this jerk bait down deeper um, with a suspend dot on, of course. So out of all the things I'm going to go over, this is probably one that's most special to me. Um, and when it comes to buzzbait fishing, I think of two different styles. And you can go ahead and click that, or actually it's on there. Um, but target fishing is one, so whether I'm going down the bank and I'm fishing really isolated pieces of cover, I'm really trying to make cast-specific casts, um, that's one way. And then another way, it's kind of tough to see, but it's flat fishing. Whenever I'm in an area that's uh, just a, a vast area of vegetation, it could be, it could be milfoil, it could be hydrilla, it could be a pad field that just has a bunch of scattered pockets in it, you're making real, real long casts. Um, those two are, are completely different to me. I use two different setups, and I'm going to go over them right now. You can get So target fishing, and when it comes to buzz bait, what's the most important thing um, when it comes to buzz bait? What are, you trying to, what are you trying to really capitalize on? Anybody? No? You want to, when it comes to buzzbait fishing, you want to maximize your time in the strike zone. I mean, that's, that's our whole goal. Um, and the best way to do it, and you're going to see it in all the buzzbaits that I throw, it's going to be putting some type of soft plastic on that buzzbait. There's never a time that I throw a buzzbait without some type of soft plastic. And, and I mean, me, I mean, I throw, I'll tell you the ones that I throw, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. Um, the thing is with the plastic, is it, it gives your bait more buoyancy. So when you cast it out, it's not going to sink to the bottom by the time you take that first crank. It's going to flutter down. It's going to stay up in the water column. So when you take that first or second crank, it's already on top and it's already kicking. Because the thing is with a buzz bait, those first five cranks, you're going to get 80% of your bites. And I don't care where you're fishing, what, I mean, what lake, uh, what situation, you're going to get the majority of your bites in those first couple cranks. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip, and for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's gonna allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're gonna catch the big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bass University TV exclusive.